Okay, so October the 28th, 1997 was a day I won't remember, I won't forget. All right, so June the 26th, how special was that? Yeah, that was, um, it was really special. I, th I think it was very intimate. It was just our immediate family, um, making up of, you know, my, my mom, brother, and my dad, and her sister, uh, mom and dad, and we just had an efficient come to the house, and it was, it was very private, and I think it was, personally, I think it made it more special. So you come over here, and the idea was the family may travel, but you can't do that. So tell us about being separated and what you've got coming up. Yeah, it was something um, we were we were made aware of early enough. Um, obviously, it was going back and forth for a bit, but uh, it's okay. I look at this as a job. Obviously, I love my job, but you know sometimes not everyone can make it. So um, I'm still here, and I'm going to do my job to the best of my ability. So now you are here. What do you think? It's great. It's sort of, you know, everything I expected. Um, doing an interview in the rain, uh, playing in the rain, practicing in the rain, um, and it being, you know, a bit cooler than what I'm used to back home. So uh, I was just in Las Vegas uh, for the past uh, week and a half, and it was about 110 Fahrenheit there. So this is a, a vast difference. What are the challenges that brings out to you as a golfer at Hamilton Links Golf Course? Just uh, different golf. And when I say that, I mean... Um, different uh, uh, shot shapes in terms of flight, different uh, bounces uh, in the middle of the fairway or off to the sides, different bunkering. Um, it's just a different way of thinking. And so I think uh, I wanted to go into the open more prepared than I have in past years. Usually I, I come over to Europe uh, to get used to the time change, but I figured this year, you know, with no family being allowed, I'm going to come and play and get used to you know, get my brain on the right page of, of sort of shot making and, and shot selection out here. Yeah, the Rolex events are pretty important for the European Tour. Tell us about the quality of field here because it's a stellar field, isn't it? Yeah, I think I was told it's, it's the best uh, it's ever had, which is no surprise. Um, you know, with the whole uh, sort of a perfect storm to have, you know, all the top players come over here right before the Open. Tell us about your journey this year. How happy are you? Because there's been some there's been some good results, isn't there? Yeah. You know, I think... Um, Overall, uh, I really don't look at it too much uh, during the season. I think I'm pretty pleased. I've put myself in a situation to win several times. I, you know, I've come up short several times, but that's to me that's that's just part of the deal. Um, you know, my whole mentality is just I'm gonna keep keep knocking until the, I knock the, the entire damn door down. So, and finally, it's important to be a world golfer, isn't it? Yeah, we, we've I've seen you in, in China play up there before. To travel and to learn from the cultures and also to play different places it's important isn't it? yeah and to me uh, obviously I'm American um, I, I identify as American but you know deep down I'm very or not deep down I am very international and deep down I think I'm a bit confused in terms of you know where my heart lies um, my mom being you know Taiwanese my dad being half French half German I've been exposed to many different cultures and thoughts and um, so many different things that you know I, I feel like I, I really do enjoy I think that's why I do enjoy coming over and sort of experiencing different things